A family reliving a nightmare through the release of a Louisville man charged with killing a toddler and her father. WDRB's Brian Martin shares why the family says his release is unjust and how the Commonwealth's attorney is responding. It's been almost a year since three-year-old Trinity and her 21-year-old father, Brandon Waddles, were killed here in the Jacobs neighborhood. The Callan Avenue double murder in August 2020 is something Trinity's grandfather, Tyrone Howlett, and mother, Tanika Randolph will never forget. It's been really hard. Like, I just miss my daughter. <laughs> and I just can't believe he's out. They find it even more disturbing after they say Lawless took to Instagram Live. But I kept waking up and everything, you know, still traumatized. Slamming doors and jail, keys and be fing my head up. Only hours after he was released from jail. And how can he do that if he's in custody? Lawless's bond was set at $1 million last August, but a judge lowered it to 300 grand in October. An individual uh, posted uh, several uh, uh, cashier's checks totaling $300,000 in cash. Commonwealth's attorney Tom Wine says the person who paid it is a record executive. Court documents obtained by WDRB identified him as Nigel Talley. And I don't know that a judge or anybody else is going to expect, even though you're a rapper or you're a hot dog salesman, um, that somebody's going to come up with that kind of money. $300,000 is a lot of money uh, by anybody's measure. The family was blindsided by Lawless's release. The jail continued to say he was in custody, so the state's victim notification system gave them no warning. Technically, he was on house arrest, but even the prosecutor's office said that he was still locked up. And Kentucky law doesn't allow a person to be held without bond. Once a judge makes a determination and sets it, unless something changes, they reoffend, they don't come back to court, that's the bail that we're going to follow through. Tyrone says from the murder to Trinity's funeral, reliving this has been a nightmare, and he's leery of what will happen next. I don't understand how he could be walking free at any amount of money. And, and then for us not to be notified, she has another child with this guy. The man who posted bail has yet to respond. However, Lawless is at home awaiting trial. In Louisville, Breon Martin, WDRB News.